an analysis of James Hines' disturbing image, a hooded figure, a child, and a veil of danger. James Hines' image, depicting a hooded adult figure walking alongside a young child in the dead of night, raises immediate concerns about its unsettling and sinister undertones. The adult figure, face concealed in shadow and holding a sword or large dagger, casts an eerie presence, juxtaposed with a small, vulnerable child. Accompanied by the caption, Project Night Watch, helping children feel safe, this image appears to do the opposite, evoking fear, suspicion, and discomfort. Through a careful analysis of the image's composition, symbolism, and psychological implications, it becomes evident that the portrayal conveys a disturbing message at odds with the caption, highlighting potential problems with Hines' intentions and mindset. The hooded figure, symbolism of concealment and threat. The decision to depict the adult figure in a hood, with their face hidden, immediately introduces an element of mystery and foreboding. In visual storytelling, hooded figures are often associated with danger, anonymity, and malevolence. They tend to represent individuals who have something to hide, be it their identity or their true intentions. By concealing the face, the viewer is left questioning the figure's motivations. Who is this person, and why are they hiding in plain sight? The lack of facial expression removes any possibility of identifying the figure's emotional state, increasing the sense of uncertainty. The image's lighting choice further compounds this. Lit only by a distant lamppost, casting long, ominous shadows, the scene plays into an archetype of fear a nighttime journey with minimal illumination, heightening the perception of lurking dangers. The figure's position in the shadows is significant, as it symbolizes not only the physical obscurity of the night but also a moral ambiguity. The darkness that shrouds the figure suggests an ill-defined boundary between protector and predator. The sword or dagger in the figure's right hand amplifies this ambiguity. Swords often represent violence, authority, or power. In this context, however, the weapon comes across as a threatening object, entirely inappropriate for someone supposedly ensuring a child's safety. The child's expression, vulnerability and fear. The most disconcerting aspect of the image is the small child. Roughly three years old, the child's expression is one of concern. Children are often depicted as symbols of innocence and trust, so when paired with a figure like this hooded adult, the tension between these two characters is palpable. Rather than evoking feelings of protection or care, the child's apprehensive expression suggests unease, a far cry from feeling safe. In a more typical representation of care or protection, the child would be holding the hand of an adult who appears approachable, whose body language or posture exudes warmth, safety, and responsibility. However, the image Hind has produced offers the exact opposite, a child walking beside a mysterious, weapon-wielding figure under unsettling conditions. The choice to depict the child in this context seems designed to instill doubt in the viewer about the adult's intentions. Children, especially young ones, are heavily reliant on adults for protection and comfort. In this image, the opposite seems to occur. The child appears vulnerable, perhaps even fearful, suggesting the child recognizes the hooded figure as a threat rather than a guardian. The presence of the sword, typically associated with aggression or defense, further confuses the role of the adult. Why is such a weapon necessary if the objective is to help the child feel safe? The caption, a discrepancy between words and imagery. The caption, Project Night Watch, helping children feel safe, seems like a cruel irony when paired with this image. The visual cues of danger, fear, and concealment directly contradict the claim that the figure is there to ensure safety. Instead of evoking reassurance or protection, the image communicates a sense of danger and mistrust. It forces the viewer to question why a project purporting to help children would use such an unsettling visual representation. Words and imagery in combination are powerful tools, and when they contradict each other, as in this case, the dissonance becomes glaring. While the caption implies that the purpose of Project Night Watch is to create a sense of safety for children, the imagery sends the opposite message. Instead of a comforting guardian, we are shown a figure who aligns more closely with the archetype of a predator or a figure of fear. The underlying psychological implications, a disturbing mindset? There is a deeper issue at play here, one that speaks to the psychological state and intentions of the creator. Why would James Hind depict a hooded figure? holding a weapon, 
walking alongside a vulnerable child at night, under the guise of safety. This incongruity suggests a troubling disconnect between his stated mission of child protection and the methods through which he chooses to convey this message. The image borders on the predatory, as though the figure is leading the child into danger rather than away from it. Psychologically, this points to a dissonance in Hind's understanding of what constitutes safety and protection. True protectors, particularly those who work with children, would never invoke imagery that includes weapons, shadowy figures, or scenarios that depict children as vulnerable or afraid. The fact that Hind uses such unsettling motifs raises questions about his ability to comprehend the emotional and psychological needs of children, needs that center around stability, trust, and care, not fear and intimidation. Additionally, the image aligns with common themes in predatory or grooming behavior, where the adult figure tries to assume the role of protector while simultaneously positioning themselves in a place of power and control over the child. The figure's dominance, manifested through the weapon and the looming shadows, suggests a desire to control, rather than to genuinely safeguard the child. Conclusion, a veil of darkness and misplaced authority. In sum, this image offers a disturbing portrayal that challenges the very notion of protection. The hooded, weapon-wielding figure is neither comforting nor protective, but rather a symbol of hidden intentions and danger. The vulnerable child, caught in the dark beside this shadowy figure, only highlights the dissonance between the image and the caption. Rather than making children feel safe, this image elicits fear, anxiety, and mistrust. Hind's choice to publish such an image under the guise of child protection raises serious concerns about the message he is trying to send. Instead of promoting security and care, the image feels like a visual manifestation of psychological distress, further compounded by Hind's history of erratic behavior and questionable decisions. It stands as an example of how not to portray child protection and calls into question Hind's understanding of what it truly means to ensure children's safety.